Hi, welcome to another tutorial of Learn Load Runner series. In this video, we are going to see about run logic. First, we will see what is run logic and then we, will, we are going to see a quick demo how to configure the run logic for your load test. So run logic helps you to customize two things, iterations and run logic tree. The maximum number of iterations Vision support is this 10 digit number. It is 2,147,483,647. So this number is the 8th Mersenne number which is equal to 2 to the power of 31 minus 1. It is one of only 4 known double Mersenne num primes. So you can go to Wikipedia to learn about this number. So I am not sure why Microfocus selected this particular number as the maximum number of iterations. Definitely there might be a, a reason. Probably uh, we can uh, touch base with uh, Microsoft R&D team the reason behind this uh, machine prime as the number of uh, the maximum number of iterations. And once you define the iterations you have to design the run logic tree. So run logic tree helps you to execute the flow. You can control the flow of your execution by creating by rearranging the actions or blocks. So in each of the action or the blocks you have to specify in which way you want to execute your script. So there are two ways one is sequential and another way is to execute the actions or block by specifying the random percentage. So now we will head to Vuegen and we will learn how to configure the run logic for your test. So go to Vuegen and if you see the actions, so right now in the script I have created two actions. So apart from the default init and end, I have created two actions called search and buy. So assume that there is a flow where user will log in into using init action and then uh, they are searching for a product and in the buy action they are going to check out the product and in the vuser underscore end they are going to log out. So to define the run logic go to runtime settings just double click and under general click on run logic. So in the right side you can see the number of iterations so by default it is one and just below you can see the option to insert the action and insert the block. So by default init will have vuser underscore init and run will have the two actions search and buy and end will have vuser underscore end. So to remove an action, so assume that I want to remove search. So what you can do is you can select the action right click remove so this will remove the action so please note this will not delete the action this will only the remove the action during runtime to delete the action you need to go to your solution explorer right click and delete the action from here okay so do not confuse the delete action remove action in the uh, run logic tree so now to add an action again so right click on the run, insert action and select search. So now we have added the action again in the run. And assume that I want to iterate 10 times. So we have to specify the number of iterations here to 10. And once you entered, you can see uh, x10 the run, which means the run, whatever the actions in the run, it will execute 10 times for one user. So it, the user will logs in and then they will repeat the search and buy 10 times and they will log off only once. So if you click on the run, in the right side you can see the group properties, the run logic as sequential. So by default, 
the run logic is sequential if you want to specify the random just select random and by default it will split the action equally 50 percentage of the uh, loop will go to search and 50 percentage will go to buy so if you want to distribute the uh, the percentage just select the action and here you have to specify 40 and here 60 so make sure that you are not getting any red color uh, um, indication here so it, which means there is some error so the number should always uh, equal to 100 so if, if it is not equal to 100 then you will get an error message so now here you could see we have distributed the action into uh, 40 is to 60 ratio which is not 4 and 6 so only you have to go by the percentage not with the number and I am going to switch back to uh, sequential now to demonstrate the uh, block uh, concept so there is a way to create a block so that you can uh, you can you will know how you are designing the flow so just to give a, your uh, a comfort uh, when you create blocks it is like creating a folder structure so if you want to maintain a folder structure in your laptop uh, everyone will follow their own uh, uh, format so similarly if you want to uh, uh, arrange your actions you can create blocks so to create a block just select run and click on insert block so by default the block name will be block 0 and right now there is no action in inside the block so we have to add it by right click insert action and search so now I am going to remove this this search and I am going to remove this by and I am going to add another block so now the name is block 1 and I am going to insert the action by here now if you see the once the user logs in it will go to buy and then it will go to search but I have to swap so to arrange the blocks the select the block and click on move down so by clicking on move up move down you can rearrange the blocks or action so now when the user logs in it will go to search and then it will go to buy and similarly the blocks also you can customize the run logic as sequential or random so now i am i am uh, configuring the uh, blocks as a random and it, it will go to 100 percentage of search 100 percentage of buy so likewise based on your needs you can customize how you want to uh, execute your uh, script so that you can simulate the uh, real world situations in your load test so this will give you a flexibility of controlling your actions by specifying the iterations and sequential or random property so i hope this video is pretty useful please subscribe to qa insights podcast and qa insights channel for more such uh, tutorials and if you have a time please go to my next tutorial thanks